Hi, Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to do this reveal of a photo vibrance video. Okay, so the first thing I did was make a photo vibrance video of a dirt bike. So we're going to place that in here. And let's expand that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to just uh, lock that in place. And now we're going to bring in the same image that I got from Pexels, which is right here. And as you can see, it's a different size. So the first thing we're going to do is just expand it. And in order to us, for us to see exactly where it is, I'm going to lower the opacity so we can see the video underneath it. Now, as you can see, it's the wrong size. So this is where a little bit of a trick here. We can just go in and we're going to um, just use the nodes to try and make it as best fit as possible. And we just line that up. Okay, now you can spend a little more time doing this. I'm just going to do it as best as I can right here just for the purpose of this video. And let's go back to fit screen. Okay, and let's set the opacity back to 100. There we go. So there's many ways that you can do this, but one of the ways that I've chosen to do this was to create a mask and have the mask move to reveal the video underneath. So remember a mask is invisible. So what I'm going to do right now is just bring in a rectangle and we're going to expand that to the size of the screen. Okay. And we can rename this image mask. Okay, and we're going to take the image and mask it with the image mask. Great. So now here is the uh, image itself. And if we take this mask and move it, okay, we're going to move it to the side here. The video is actually playing underneath. So when I play this, you'll see the image is here. You can see the line separating it. The image is there and the movie is there. Okay. Now, as we can see, the image is still a little bit offset here. So, uh, again, do the best you can with lining that up. I'm just going to leave it as is. So, let's put that back full size for the shape mask. All right, now, here's how I made the line. What I did was I used the mask and I put a border around it. So, let's go to advanced and we're going to do a border. Let's say something like that and I'm going to color it black. Now you can see the border around the whole edge here, so I'm going to make this mask oversized so all you can see will be this line right here. Okay, and let's now just set that to the left side of the page. Okay, I'm just going to use the arrows to bring it in a little bit just so we can see it a little bit better right there. So that's the starting point. Okay, now we're going to bring in a couple of shapes. So I chose this shape right here. Okay, and again we can color that black and make it smaller. Let's say like that. Maybe a bit thinner if you want. You can use any shape you want. You can do this any way you like. And we're going to put that right up at the top and just center it. Now if you can't see exactly where it is, if you want to make this exact, we can zoom in on this and see that that looks pretty centered there. Okay, don't forget to use your zoom in and zoom out so you can really make things exact. Okay, so we're going to bring this across the entire length here like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to leave the image and the video exactly where they are. The image will only play within the mask. So what we're going to do is move the mask so as it moves out of the way, it'll reveal the video underneath. So let's start right around here. So let's say we're going to start here and have the image in for a few seconds. And now we're going to add a custom animation. Let's make it like that. And we're just going to do position. There we go. Okay. So the this is the start position right here. The end position will be somewhere over here. So I'm going to grab the shift key because now we can just move it along the horizontal without having to worry about moving it up and down. Okay. And I'm going to move this. Uh, let's, there it is. I'm sorry. Here we go. Across. Let's say to about there. 
Okay, so now what's going to happen is the mask will move from here and move across, revealing the video underneath. That flashing won't happen in the final video. Okay, great. And we're going to do the same thing with this um, the pointer here. So I'm going to add a custom animation to that. Okay, we'll line this up nicely in a second. And we're going to then again have, the have this as a position. And at the end, we're going to move this across and that right in line with that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty exact. That's great. Okay, now again, in order to make this exact here so we can see that it's starting and stopping at the exact position. We're going to zoom in here using the time zoom here. And you can see that it's starting at the same point here. Move this over here. This one is at this level here, so we can move this over. And again, we'll zoom back out. Great. Okay, now that's the top node here. So you can see that's going to slide like that. I always like to do the animation first before you reproduce it, so that way when you duplicate it, it's going to duplicate the animation as well. Otherwise you just have to repeat it again. So now let's take this one here and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Let me see if I grab onto that here. Oh, let's just move it down first of all. And we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. Great. And we can use the shift key and slide it right down to the bottom here. And that's it. So now it's going to slide over. We're going to end the result here also at the bottom. So let's take this and slide it down here right to there. Perfect. Oops, that was a mistake. There we go. Let's see if that looks okay there. It's great. So what's going to happen now is the slider will move across and reveal the photo vibrance video underneath. Now what I did also in order to have it slide back and forth I'm just going to move this up a little bit so we can see a little bit more of the timeline. I'm going to right click here and do a duplicate reverse and give it a little bit of space and duplicate reverse and again line that up here and duplicate reverse looks good and we're going to do that one more time And do everything here like that. And one more here. So now what will happen, I'll just bring that back in a little bit there, is the video will play. It'll stay here on the picture. It'll slide across, reveal the video, stay here, go back to the picture, and then back again. So this way you can reveal what your video looks like as compared to the uh, image itself. So when we play it, there we go, zoom us back, and that's it. Well I hope you enjoyed that and learned something there and uh, happy creating!